My name is Leon Longard. I am the North American Director for Communitas. We can talk about doing micro churches, missional projects, missional initiatives, things like that. But why? We are living in an age where we need to restore the beauty of what it means to be followers of Jesus together. Because for many people, the word church does not speak beauty at this point. But we need to create an atmosphere where we're creating these beautiful communities. And part of that is bringing fellow people who are on this journey together into the same place so that we can build relationship with each other more. My name is Bethany Labou, and I currently work for Global Communitas as the coaching champion and the training champion for Dynamic Adventure. What drew me to this event is the culmination of relationships that I have had the privilege of making over the past 20 years of working with Communitas International and just knowing that those people were coming here. I'm Teal Rapp and for the last four years I've had the privilege of being the board chair on the Communitas board. I am always going to go to any connect or any event that Communitas is having. If I can get there, I'm going to try to get there. With this one being in Minnesota and the recent history of the Twin Cities in particular, with how the murder of George Floyd has brought about a, a new level of reckoning around the issue of racial healing, I felt like it was an appropriate time to have a discussion about how can we be better allies around peacemaking and anti-racism, and how is that a part of being the church beautiful? Well, I'm taking away the awareness of needing to really pay attention to this race reconciliation conversation and give more of my heart to it. So the theme of this weekend was racial reconciliation. And um, we spent some time going through this book, Dear White Peacemakers, and just learning about white privilege, my role in white privilege and how to be a part of racial reconciliation. How can we be an organization that is making sure that we, we make space for the people who are experiencing the effects of racism and the effects of white supremacy? Because many of us haven't experienced the same things. And it's, it's important for us to understand that maybe there are things we need to do to, to promote and be better allies in, in creating spaces for healing. Mm -hmm.